You ever just see a mockingbird and think, what did the world do to you? <laughs> hey guys, it's me, and today I am going to be doing my monthly beauty haul for May of 26. Where am I? 2018. Wow. <laughs> so we are going to be hauling all of the products that I bought this month. First thing is the lip color that I am wearing, which by the way, I did do a full tutorial slash get ready with me. I don't really do tutorials. <laughs> um, get ready with me crystal eyes series video on the eye look and the, you know, all of the things that I'm wearing today. So look out for that video. I think I'm going to put it up before this one. So I will link it in the eye for you guys. But this color is so beautiful. It is from MAC and it is called Nothing to Wear and it's from their new Mirage Noir I want to say collection but just oh, look at this packaging. Oh, I just, I mean, I had to get something. I had to. I actually waited until it was on Ulta because Mac did this thing where they only allowed like certain members to get stuff first. I think that's so just unfair in general. Sephora does it. I think that Ulta also does it too. And the fact that like, I just, just let everyone have it. Like just because someone spends more money doesn't mean they deserve products faster. Like that to me, is just kind of like, like, why don't you just give us good rewards? How about that? I think we'd all be okay with that. So, um, I got this from Ulta and I just, <sighs> packaging, so pretty. You guys know I collect those, so I just couldn't pass it up. So, next thing that I got is another thing that is also on my brows today, and that is the Benefit 3D Brow Tones. And this one is in the shade Magenta. Yes. Yes, it is. It is a magenta colored brow gel that's also kind of shimmery. It'll be hard to see. I'll see if I can swatch it on my hand so that you guys can kind of see. Let me get a good swatch. The thing about this that I hate, honestly, is the applicator because you don't get enough. Like, I want this to thoroughly saturate my brows, and so I have to, like, really go in with a lot of it. You can definitely see how shimmery it is there now that it's kind of blended out. Yeah, so it's got a sheen to it, which I also find kind of weird, but I'll take what I can get with a weird colored brow gel. I don't think I'm gonna be able to find it anywhere else. I've decided that the Kat Von D Aubergine Brow Pomade, I just can't make it look good on a consistent basis, and I don't like to have to work that hard. So I have just been using my ColourPop Redhead stuff and I've been using this on top of it. So it kind of gives me a little bit more of a pinkish brow, but it's not an overwhelmingly pinkish brow, which honestly, I'd be okay with an overwhelmingly pinkish brow, but that Kat Von D powder is just no bueno. So um, yeah, so yeah, that's, that's the next thing that I bought. But speaking of Kat Von D, I did buy something else of hers. This is a setting powder. This is called her Locket Brightening powder and this is in the shade Petal. Um, it's not very brightening for my skin tone. Um, it's kind of like a light peachy powder and honestly I've been trying this out for a couple of weeks now and when I use this to set my under eyes, my under eyes still crease pretty badly. Like it feels like it would be a nice powder. Like it's nice and like finely milled. It feels nice. It's brightening. Um, not really for me but you know for some for a lot of people I'm sure it's very brightening <laughs> but it just I don't know. Cavon D has just been disappointing me lately. I don't know what's going on, but I really, really love that new anniversary collection that she came out with. So I haven't bought anything yet. I'm trying to be a good Vienna and not do that, but I don't know. I might end up buying something to be continued. So next thing that I purchased is something else that I really wasn't a big fan of. And I saw some people doing positive reviews of this. And I think it's just that stick foundations are not for me. Every single stick foundation I have tried, I haven't been the biggest fan of. The only one that I somewhat like is the Anastasia, no, Hourglass, the Hourglass Vanish Stick. And the more that I use that one, the more that I dislike it. So I think that just the formula of stick foundations is not something that works for me, which makes me very upset because I want it to work for me. But this is the Makeup Revolution. Um, what is it? What do they call it? The Fast Base Stick Foundation. So I think for some reason Mega Revolution has just been calling themselves Revolution lately. 
I don't know what's up with that, but I got the shade F1, which is their lightest shade, and it is for neutral undertones. Um, so I'll go ahead and swatch it on my hand for you guys. It definitely had really, really good coverage, but it just felt so thick and oily on me throughout the entire day. So that's what it looks like there. I'll go ahead and blend it out so you can kind of see what the coverage is like on my hand here. So there you are, you can see it there. It's definitely got good coverage. It just, the last ability for me is just not what I'm looking for. We'll just leave it at that. It's just not what I'm looking for. It's not that it's a bad product. It's just not a Vienna product. So next two things that I got though, very much so Vienna products. So this first one is a super freaking cute palette. I got this from the Riley Rose store. Um, they've started popping up in a lot more places, but they have a lot of e-commerce brands in store like Luxie Beauty, BH Cosmetics, like all kinds of stores that are usually, or brands, I'm sorry, that are usually not something you can find in store, they have. So this palette is by Winky Lux and it's called the Kitten Palette. I mean, how freaking cute is this? So they were having a 20% off sale and this originally was only $25, like $25. And it's a nine shade eyeshadow palette. And the shade that I love most in this palette is so, I love it so much. I've worn it in quite a few recent videos. I think I filmed like three videos the day that I wore it and so many of you guys complimented my eyeshadow in those videos so this is just called holographic they weren't very um adventurous with their names but it's so pretty and i just can't get over it it's just i had never seen a color like this before and so i i just had to pick it up it was just it was fate, it was meant to be, and it's got a wonderful shade to set my um, eyeshadow primer in here, and I love shades like this that just, just give me a mauvey purpley color, and I'm good to go. Like, this could just be a palette, like, if I had no other palettes, I could get what I needed from this. It's got a light transition shade, it's got some deep shades, granted I haven't dug into this one or this one, but, or this one I think, but the rest of these they're so good and they're not crazy pigmented which I actually really like like this shade here when I blend it out like when you swatch it it looks like it's going to be crazy pigmented but when I blend it out on the eye it builds really really nicely it kind of looks a little patchy there but it actually builds on the eye really really well and it's not super intense upon first application so you have time to kind of blend it out and make it feel good and look good and all that kind of stuff so so glad I got this for only like $20 after 20% off so I'm just over the moon about it and this palette you guys why has nobody talked about this oh my freaking gosh if you like duochrome shadows oh you need this palette okay check it out I want to say this was $38 but again I got 20% off so this palette is huge $38 look how big these pans are the reason that I wanted this palette was for this freaking shade right here do they have names no they don't but um i'm gonna go ahead and swatch this one because i swatched it and i didn't buy it that day and they were still doing 20 percent off the next weekend and so i got this palette for this shade i'm just gonna swatch a couple of the deal chromes here for you guys because they are just they're so good and i'll just go ahead and swatch this really fun one so three dual chromes and a fun one. Let's go ahead and put these on my hand here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so that one that is on the opposite side of the bright gold, that's the shade that I had to buy this palette for. It's like blue-brown, but it's not. It's more unique than that. Like, just look at these. Just look at these. I just feel like they're so unique and so pretty and this was so inexpensive. Again, has a good shade to set my eyeshadow primer and it's got a nice transition shade. It's got deeper shades like matte shades over here. It's got your basic kind of awesome good bronzy colors and then it's got these duo chromes that kill me. I just... Oh. This is by, I'm um, sorry, I didn't even say what it was. This is by Beauty Bakery, and this is the Do It For The Gram eyeshadow palette. Like, come on, why has nobody said, I've heard literally nothing about this palette, and it's so 
freaking pretty. This shade right here. You guys saw it on my hand right here. So pretty. So pretty. Please go check out this palette. It's so good. <laughs> Okay, last but not least, I've got a couple of hair products. The first one is one that I haven't tried yet, so I'm not sure if it's good or not, but eventually, someday, it will be in my empties. This is the Matrix Style Link Heat Buffer Thermal Styling Spray. This is basically just a heat styling spray for when your hair is dry and you want to flat iron it. Those are the kind of sprays that I like. I never blow dry my hair, literally ever, <laughs> ever, ever, ever. I hate blow drying my hair so much. So. I always just need something that's good for when I use my flat iron on it. So I bought this hoping that it was good. The last one that I bought was by like Caviar or something and it was totally, it was fine, but it wasn't worth the money. Like it was probably like double the price of this one. So I'm gonna see if this one's any good. I'm not super picky about those though. Something else that I have tried and I love and I just, oh, it smells really good and it works really good. This is the Moroccan Oil Dry Shampoo. This one is for light tones. They have one for light tones and for dark tones. So if you have darker hair and you don't like a white cast, I'm assuming that one is gonna be darker. I haven't tried it. I've only tried the light one, but I can personally get this at a cosmetology hair store so I can get it for cheaper than my favorite detox dry bar shampoo. And I find that it works the same and my hair smells great all day long because if you know this smell, just from getting like the oils and stuff in your Ipsy bag, it's a good smell. It's just a good smell. It smells so freaking good. So um, yeah, I would totally recommend that if you haven't tried it out and you like um, really yummy smelling dry shampoos because I definitely do. I wish that I could find a lower cost, like one that was maybe like under $10 that I loved because I do like the OGX one that I did a video on a long time ago, but the smell of that one kind of overpowers me really, really quickly and I get tired of it. So it works really well, but the smell of it is just like <clears throat> after like two times of using it. So this one, I will not get tired of the smell because I really, really like it. So yeah, I think that that is everything for my monthly beauty haul for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I didn't get a whole lot of stuff. I was kind of focusing on getting some like basics in terms of like bras and shoes and things like that that I need for summer because I have not bought some new bras in quite some time and your girl needs some new bras. So I'm currently in the process of figuring that out. Um, plus size bra shopping is the worst <laughs> ever. So yeah, um, so I didn't get a whole lot of makeup but this was everything that I bought this month so I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to show some love to the like button down there and if you subscribe you can be a member of my muse family and I love you guys so so much thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video bye guys